Hey, what's going on guys? This is Matt from Mad Brady Fitness. Um, for a while I've been wanting to make a video about my Rogue Fitness uh, power bars, uh, just various barbells that I bought from these guys. And uh, one of my friends on Instagram, Nate Dom, asked me which one's my favorite, <clears throat> and I told him it's the Stainless Steel Ohio Power Bar. Now, behind me you'll see each of the bars right here. So, at the top, we've got the Ohio Power Bar Stainless Steel. And you'll notice that the knurling on this thing is sick. It's super sharp, sharp in a good way. It's sharp enough to grip your hand, so when you're sweating, you don't lose grip on it. Um, it's low maintenance. You, I mean, once in a while, I'll clean this with the uh, three-in-one oil and the nylon brush. Um, it's got the chrome plated sleeves. It's got a really good spin um, You've got your uh, brass bushings in there, so that's good <clears throat> And I absolutely love the stainless steel power bar. It is phenomenal because of the the grip um, Usefulness like that grip is so much better for me on the stainless steel power bar And I've heard this from a lot of other people too online like I've read that I mean <clears throat> um so like the Cerakote bar is great. The problem with the Cerakote bar for me is that when I start sweating a lot, like it's hot as balls in here right now in Texas, in my garage, and I'm sweating just taking this video. So I start sweating like this, I'm working out, and then the Cerakote starts to become a little slippery for me. I've heard some people say it's like having permanent chalk on the bar. I mean, I wouldn't go that far. Um, maybe a little bit at first when it's fresh out of the box, but over time, like, yeah, it's got that grip, but man, as soon as you start sweating, it becomes a lot harder to grip. Um, same goes with the black oxide. Black oxide, I would say, is the third ring down. It's still a great bar. Don't get me wrong. I've got black zinc deadlift bar, uh, boneyard deadlift bar. So, you know, I'll use it for sure. But I'm just saying, once you try stainless steel, the Cerakote and the black zinc, you're pretty much gonna go stainless steel. I mean, that's almost the majority consensus of people on like Reddit and online um, all over the interwebs. So anyways, going back to the bar, um, the Cerakote bar is solid. It's got Cerakote sleeves. Um, when I was online reading the review, I thought to myself, you know, this bar, uh, I hope it keeps up. They said it's scratch resistant. Well. That is not the case. You're going to scratch the fuck out of this bar. Uh, the sleeves are going to get just beat the hell up. And that's okay. I mean, it's a barbell. Who the fuck cares anyways? You're supposed to be lifting. So I got over that. But, like, it's so expensive, you're kind of like, shit. Anyways, <clears throat> back to the bar. The knurling is solid. I mean, it's got that diamond cut again. And just like the uh, stainless steel bar. Um, that Cerakote is highly uh, durable. It's highly resistant. It's going to you know, make rusting harder and all that shit. So, um, it's definitely a solid bar. I mean, I, I love this bar. It looks awesome. The red on black looks really cool with the rogue branding. Um, and you know, it's got great spin and you've got the uh, brass bushings again. Um, but like I said, for me, it's just the grip. It's great for squats. Like I love it because of the center neural here is sharp. And then you go one step up and the stainless steel is even sharper. So, it depends on what you're looking for. Um, the stainless steel is going to run you a little bit more money. <clears throat> but if you email Rogue and like, let's say you try the Cerakote bar and it doesn't work out for you, um, you can email them to see if you can just upgrade the stainless steel and then have them swap the bar and you just pay the difference for the bar. I mean, that's still a pretty good deal. Anyways, give it a shot. Um, next bar is the Matt Chan bar. Now this is a Boneyard bar. And I should have said this earlier. The Cerakote bar is... Um, the, the Ohio Power Bar and the Stainless Steel Ohio Power Bar is right here. These are both not Boneyard. If I had the option, I would have gotten the Boneyard just because you save so much money and it's basically the same bar. You might have a cos cosmetic imperfection here or there. It's almost like a used car, but these bars are held a lot more reliable than used cars. So um, anyways, going back to the Matt Chan Bar, the uh, Boneyard version. Got a great deal on it. I think it was like 225 bucks or something like that. Really affordable. Um, and like, I don't want to go into details with pricing on this. I just want to talk about the barbells because 
you can go to Rogue Fitness's website and they have all the information for you. They have a really very well designed website. So uh, Cerakote sleeves on the Matt Chan bar and you know you got your diamond knurling. This is the most, um, this is a very comfortable knurl when you're doing various high repetition exercises. I don't care if it's like snatching or clean and jerk or whatever the hell you're doing. It's a really comfortable bar. I, I like this bar a lot actually. Um, it's got the, the double knurl, which for me, I haven't really found a use for that yet. Um, I haven't done CrossFit or anything like that. I pretty much stick to powerlifting type stuff. Um, but you know, it's kind of nice to have these double knurls because it's just convenient. I would say like when you want to change your hand position around, it's super convenient. Um, right here, you've got the center knurl. Now this is like a passive smooth yet you've got a grip on the knurl like when it's on your back you can get it to grip on a t-shirt or, or uh, even like a workout shirt it's not even close to being like the Cerakote knurl or the stainless steel it's a passive smooth knurl there's no like sharp grip in there at all it's it's really smooth um but it's a solid knurl anyways i mean i i use this for squats once in a while um I just haven't cleaned my bars either, so you'll see like chalk and like dirt in there, but I gotta clean these guys up. But all in all, I love these bars. I use them for everything. So like here, I use the stainless steel uh, Ohio Power Bar for brunch press. For milk for press, shoulder press, I use the Cerakote Red Ohio Power Bar. And then for squats, I'll use the Red Cerakote Ohio Power Bar or the stainless, or the uh, Boneyard Matt Chan bar. Um, either one will work for me on squat. I'm, I do like the sharper grip of that Cerico bar. But I mean, for all of these, like, you can't go wrong with these bars. Um, oh, I almost forgot the Ohio deadlift bar. So I got the Boneyard version of this guy, which was awesome. So hopefully you can see that. Um, it's the black zinc deadlift bar and it's great. I mean, for the price I paid, I think it was somewhere in the low $200 range. I don't remember right now, but the knurling on it is solid. I mean, you've got that diamond knurling again and um, you've got a good grip. Uh, the chalk likes to stay in there, it's, but it's real easy to clean with that three in one oil and the nylon brush. There's no center knurl because you don't need one. It's a deadlift bar. It's by design and that's correct. Um, this one can get a little slick um, when you start sweating a lot, so I do chalk up pretty hard. And it's got the brass bushings again, and it's got an excellent spin. Um, some people online, I've watched some video reviews like, hey, do I really need a uh, deadlift bar when I'm only doing like under 400 pound deadlifts? Like let's say you're 300s or mid 300s. I mean, part of that is somewhat true, uh, depends on you though, as the as the lifter, like don't just count on somebody's opinion because of their reputation. You need to try things out for yourself. So that's the best way to do anything in life. So with the Ohio uh, deadlift bar, boneyard version, I'm super happy with it. I mean, I paid like 225 bucks or 250 bucks, one of the two. And I like having that slack. So when you lift up the bar, you've got a little bit of slack with the bar and it bends. And especially when you get to 400, I can feel it. Like, I've used the uh, Rogue um, Ohio Power Bar, stainless steel, and Cerakote, and I can tell you that when you're lifting a stiff bar, especially when you get up in the higher amounts of weight, and I can only imagine what it feels like on 500 or 600 plus, your hands will start to fucking kill. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I don't care how strong your hands are, like you will have some discomfort or some pain. Um, with the deadlift bar, I don't have that at all, and for me that's important because I'm I'm a IT engineer, cloud engineer by trade, and I'm typing all day, and I've had carpal tunnel since 2011, so it's a pain in the ass, and you know, anything I can do to just like mitigate that annoying like hand pain or wrist pain, I'm gonna do it, so Ohio deadlift bar worked really good for me, and um, all in all, like you just can't go wrong with these, with these uh, Rogue Fitness barbells. They're solid, they have a reputation, of quality for a really good reason they've earned it um and i really 
for me, I mean, I haven't tried the Texas deadlift bar or any other comparable power bars, uh, to be honest. I mean, I've used whatever beater bars or, you know, whatever bars they had at um, some of the independent gyms. I used to go to like Big Tex in Austin or Hyde Park Gym in Austin. Um, you know, I'm sure I probably used some actually pretty good bars there too. I just never paid attention. I was just there to work. Um, but for your home gym, I mean, I started off with the beater bars and you know, it's an evolution. Like you can go out there and do that. Um, I had to at the time I was really low on money. So I've been building this garage gym for about two years now from scratch, uh, usually piecemealing it one at a time, uh, one piece, one item at a time. So, um, if you've got the money though, like, and you want to save a, a ton of money, definitely go the boneyard route. You won't be sorry. There's a lot of good Reddit feeds about that topic online, a lot of good support for the Boneyard. It's the same bar, just cosmetic defects. So my favorites, I think it's pretty obvious by now. Jesus, look how much I'm sweating. <laughs> so it's humid and it's hot. So in priority order, so stainless steel, Ohio Power Bar, Cerakote, Ohio Power Bar, Matt Chan Bar, uh, which is actually also stainless steel. I forgot to mention that earlier, which for me was awesome. It's Got a good grip, but it's not as sharp as the Ohio Power Bar. I would say it's like, eh, maybe a four or five out of 10, and this is like 10 out of 10. Um, and then the deadlift bar, the Bonier deadlift bar, I would give that like a seven or an eight. It's got a pretty sharp uh, neural on there. So um, if you're on the fence between like buying Rogue Fitness or, um, man, what are the comparable brands? I think there's a like Vulcan comes to mind. Fringe Sport. Um, I have had an opportunity to kind of feel the Fringe Sport hybrid bar down at Fringe Sport Fitness um, down in Austin. And it struck me as a really solid bar. Like if I had to go with an, another brand, I would probably go with that uh, power bar or hybrid bar. I forget what it's called. It's one of the two. Um, Fringe makes pretty good stuff. It's not American made. Um, this stuff is. So if you like um, supporting American made stuff, I mean, you know, go for it. I'm from Ohio. I'm actually from Cleveland. I went to Ohio State for college. And for me to support a company back home in the Midwest, um, being a state that was severely affected by uh, the Rust Belt um, breakdown of all the manufacturing jobs being taken out of the Rust Belt, I love, 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 love seeing manufacturing jobs coming back to the Rust Belt. So Columbus, Ohio, you know, these guys are doing all the steel work and everything else for, for their barbells. I think that's fantastic. Um, I wish we could have more of that in the economy. Uh, we need more American manufacturing, in my opinion. So for me to be able to support them, I love doing that. And also as an Ohio native, I, I love that, you know, and I spent five years of my life in Columbus, Ohio. So i um, really happy that Rogue came to be and I just discovered them so late. I didn't even know about Rogue Fitness until, I don't know, three or four years ago, something like that. I just never paid attention to that stuff. Um, but yeah, if you go rogue, you go boneyard, you can't go wrong. Yeah, you're gonna pay tax and shipping. Um, <clears throat> and you know, it'll take a good week to get here, but it's totally worth it. I mean, I've got stuff from Titan Fitness as well. Um, and the key differences that I've noticed are like the rogue fitness welds are virtually perfect versus the Titan Fitness bars, which the welds will not be perfect at all. I mean, out of skill, one to 10, they're like, sometimes they're as low as like a three um, or a five out of 10. So like, here's a good example. You can see how it's kind of just, it's welded on there, but it's a little sloppy, especially here. And here's a really bad one. It kind of like clumps up. Same with this right here. So that's what you're gonna get with Titan Fitness. like. <clears throat> on their uh, barbells or that's a Swiss bar or whatever, angle bar, you're not gonna get that same level of craftsmanship, like of quality and excellence. It's cheap Chinese produced products that are basically copied from Rogue Fitness who are smartly putting patents on their designs now. I mean, sometimes budget is a, is a real concern for most people and it's real for me too. So for a while, Rogue Fitness, I just couldn't afford and that's why I started with the beater bars. I had one Titan bar and I just, it was pretty decent for like a hundred bucks, but over time I just kept hearing so many good things about Rogue Fitness. So I just decided to 
start trying out the bars and if I didn't like them I would just sell them uh, locally and get most of my money back um, but when you buy a road bar I mean chances are you're not gonna sell it so if you're like me and you want return on investment you can't go wrong with these bars and if you're looking to clean this stuff um, you can get this three-in-one oil do it like that three-in-one oil uh, lubricates penetrates rust cleans and yeah it works really well I mean I've used it on the bars it's kind of crazy how clean they are oh, I don't have my nylon bro oh there it is here we go and here's a little nylon brush that you use no big deal um, but yeah I mean you throw that stuff on there and you're good to go um, I've maybe oiled these bars two or three times over a year not even a year and they're doing just fine. I mean, these things are built rock solid. You can't go wrong. If you're on the fence between these and like Titan Fitness and you can afford it, don't even consider Titan, just go rogue. You'll be very happy with what you get. And, um, you know, like I said, stainless steel is my favorite. And for the deadlift bar, if I had to do it over again, I would still go with the black zinc over the Cerakote, unless I could find the Cerakote on the Boneyard. But for me, um, the 385 price point plus tax and shipping is like 425. For me, that's kind of like on the top tier of my budget range where I'm like, oh man, that's just a lot of money. <laughs> so I mean, like, yeah, if you find that Cerakote, you know, Boneyard, go for it. I mean, unless it's important to you, then get whatever you want, but it's all personal preference at the end of the day. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, I had a lot of fun making it. And like I said, you know, check all the technical details, The tensile strength and all that stuff on Rogue's website. It's a very good, very well designed website, very detailed. And if you ever have questions, just email Rogue. They're very good and timely about getting back to you, which I really appreciate. So I uh, really enjoyed making this video for y'all. Uh, this is Matt from Matt Brady's Fitness signing out.